Executive Director of the Beyond Aid Project. We manufacture products from bamboo, hence Bamboo Afrique, which is our brand name. Beyond Aid came about from working in communities that had resources they are not aware of, and then we took it upon ourselves to train women in those communities to empower themselves so that they can live beyond aid. Bamboo Afrique is a brand of products made from bamboo. So we have handbags, table mats, we make furniture, we make coasters, we make a thousand and one products from bamboo. Bamboo is available everywhere in Ghana and usually people are not aware of its potential. So the only visible thing people would use bamboo for is scaffolding. But we took it upon ourselves to empower women to turn bamboo into amazing products. Miss Ghana USA seeks to empower women as well, build their confidence and get them to aspire to achieve great things. Beyond Aid also seeks to do the same. And for the caliber of women that we work with, we thought that with the profile of Miss Ghana USA, they would be excited about the fact that we have an association with them, and we hope that that will urge them on to do great things. The product range, we have fashion accessories, which includes handbags, purses, jewelry, um, name it. Then we have household goods, which includes furniture, um, table mats, uh, planters. The objective of this collaboration is to allow us to have markets for these products as well. This Ghana USA is international and we're hoping that with this association they will also bring their networks on board to patronize our products. In the meantime, we're working with Ghana Export Promotion Council, who are also supporting us to look for markets. We just started working with Beyond Aid and Raising Hope um, is to help orphans and the less fortunate with you know educational needs, healthcare needs. Healthcare is my platform. Education, healthcare needs, um, just basic necessities. And we've been here, we had gifts that we shipped to them back in October, and you know how it is, it takes about two months for them to arrive in Ghana. So um, we came here, we handed out their gifts, it was supposed to be Christmas gifts, but they arrived a little late, and so we gave them our holiday gifts, had a little party for them, spent some time with them, and um, Raising Hope works with all of Africa. The goal is to help orphans and, the less, and children who are less fortunate throughout Africa, but this year they're focusing on Ghana specifically, so it was great because being crowned this year, I will be able to work with them. I am an ambassador for them, so I represent them. I go um, do charity work and meet them to meet them. And like they're really, really beautiful, and um, I saw how they were making it, and it was just like such a. I'm still overwhelmed by it because like cutting the bamboo and stripping it, making it smooth, it's a process. And when you see this, you're like, oh, it's a pretty purse, but there's a lot of work that goes into it. And so, I mean, I'm really, really impressed by it. Since I arrived in Ghana, Miss Ghana USA Corporation has like planned a lot of events. We did like a appearance at one of the clubs here and kind of tried to promote it, Miss Ghana USA. And then today we're working with women that are building skills with bamboo. So you know, we're basically learning from the community. Community is learning from us. The community engagement. That's why we're here. Um, I loved it. I was so inspired to see women like that are so like 
they're so determined to make something of themselves. And I feel like growing up, we were always told that if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to be a businesswoman, that you would have to go to college, get a four-year degree. And here are women mid-age, like mid-20s and 30s, that are like hoping to build their own businesses. It's really inspiring, and we're really glad to be here today. USA is just an organization that is here to empower women through their, you know, helping them achieve their individual goals and also to ground them in their culture and where they come from. And I'd just like to let everyone know that, you know, the purposes as to why we're here, the purpose for our organization, and it is much more than just, you know, a typical beauty pageant where you just you know, see the beauty. We want people to see the physical beauty and everything, not only the physical, but just the beauty and everything that we do. And that's not only like walking around with a crown and a sash, but it's also showing the cultures and the trades of Ghana, celebrating our culture, um, showing the beauty in artwork, you know, showing the beauty in helping one another, showing the beauty in collaboration, and um, making sure that we remain relevant with the work that we're doing. So uh, we just hope that we continue to have everyone's support and we will be doing many more projects in Ghana, so we hope that you stay with us. Every year, the Queen has a project to do, a charity project to do here in Ghana, so she's here and we are working in partnership with Beyond Aid Ghana. I've learned a lot. I've learned that breaks are essential. So when I come to work, I should go and look. I should say I have a lot of I want to finish work and go home. What I learned today is about team working, how to go back there and work for my team needs. You know, to be selfish, but to be open, helping everyone so that we can achieve what we want. I learned about team working and how we should feel we to each other, how we should trust each other and to work together so that we bring a good goal. What I've learned so far was how to own yourself as a woman. Don't be too dependent on any other person. The important thing I think I picked from today's seminar is all about learning to take short breaks when you work for longer periods because the short breaks helps you recollect yourself and make you ready for the next phase so that you don't tire yourself, you don't wear yourself out and then you'll be able to produce more effectively. That is what I learned today.